Hi, my name's Anna Bay and we are the Persistent Panthers from Irma Rangel. Um, we're going to be presenting the Parawa irrigation system today and um, I'm project manager. So as project manager, I was responsible for constructing the blueprints of the project and making sure everything was organized. My name is Itzuri Chapa and I'm the project coordinator. As coordinator, I manage the tax and responsibilities and I also manage the schedule for us. I am Ashley Alonso and as the research manager, I focused on researching irrigation systems and the water waste uh, associated with them. Hi, my name is Lisa Ablos and I was the creative design lead. So I was in charge of what our project looks like and how we want to, how big or small we want it to be. Um, so this is us. Um, we decided uh, the different roles within our team based on our skills and our personalities. So I'm really big on leadership. So I decided to go for a project manager because I think that that role fit me best. I chose project coordinator because I think I really have good time management skills and I feel I can really manage our team when it comes to schedules, organization, et cetera. I chose research manager because I am really good at finding, at researching actually um, and bringing in col collaboration skill and my charisma to the table. Um, I chose creative design lead because I'm really particular about how I like certain things and how I want things to look all together. So I think this role fit my personality best. Uh, on average, on average farms around the world account for 70% of all water that is consumed annually. Farmers use massive irrigation systems in order to water their crops. Most of these irrigation systems uh, operate in intervals or, the, or, or on timers. This process leads to 40% of the water used being wasted through evaporation and runoff. The project we've designed, the Paragua irrigation system, is an irrigation system that uses a soil moisture sensor to turn on or off the flow of water rather than a timer. We believe this is a solution to all this water being wasted from traditional irrigational systems. Now for our idea and its purpose, Anneva and Alyssa first came up with this idea at an SMU Lao engineering camp during the summer of 2022. The requirements were to come up with a way to reduce the waste of water. The North Park STEM challenge inspired us to expand on this idea and to create a more efficient irrigation system after learning about the amount of water that is wasted each year by farmers through irrigation systems. The Paragua irrigation system reduces water waste by using a soil moisture sensor that eliminates overwatering. Okay, so um, this right here is basically my kind of part of the project and um, what I was in charge of. I first started by going on to Tinkercad and creating essentially a, blue, a blueprint of what the wiring and everything was supposed to look like all together and connected just to make sure it works. So I um, did that and it did work. So then I proceeded to actually do it like in real life. And that's what it looks like in that picture. Um, to the right is the code of each um, electrical component, like the servo, the LCD screen, and the soil moisture sensor. Yeah. That's that. um, we'll stop sharing. So um, this is the pipe that, um, the PVC pipe that we have. Um, where's the, so this was, this is gonna be attached something like this. What can you hold it? Mm -hmm. So what will happen is whenever this is gonna be connected, what will happen is this will open and whenever it closes back, it will move back in and it'll close uh, based on the information that the soil moisture sensor uh, gives. Um, okay. So our materials are our basic, like the really major materials are the Arduino, the breadboard, the LCD screen, um, the soil moisture sensor, and the servo motor. Um, for our procedures, do you want to talk about that? Um, so after we gathered all of our materials, we started with the hardest part, which would be the code and getting it to do what we wanted it to and make sure everything was fine because code is very complicated. 
and the wiring also. After we did that, we started to brainstorm um, looks for the project and how we envisioned it and essentially like putting it together to make it come to life. Um, so yeah, right now we, that's where we're at. Um, for our project, we decided to use, um, utilize both the scientific and engineering method. Um, well, we were presented with the problem of, will the addition of a soil moisture center to an irrigation system decrease the amount of water waste? So we experimented, um, we made modifications along the way, um, like making, giving, getting different code and making sure it works right. You know, we had some trouble with that. So we would have to come up with new code, a more efficient, a better way to um, make the project work better. Um, so for the scientific method, um, we would add a soil moisture sensor to our irrigation system, then it will accurately read the moisture level of the soil and only water the soil when it reaches the program level of dryness. This will greatly reduce water waste. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.